Welcome back. Another awesome video about PowerPoints. Uh, in the first video, if you didn't watch it, we went over the first couple of tabs right here. Um, so if you want more in-depth knowledge of how to do these first um, couple of tabs, then go back and watch that video. Uh, the only thing left to cover is what's called transitions and animations. Transitions is simply going from one slide to the next. When a slideshow is being presented in front of a, a, an audience, um, if you don't have any transitions, it's just kind of a boring, just boring transition from side to side. If you want it to be more exciting, then you can definitely choose it. There's several different options you can do. Um, for example, let's do fracture. Okay, so that kind of gives you a preview of what it's going to look like. Um, it's it's set to it now, but so, so now if you go back and if I go to the next slide, so it's, we said it's the wrong one. Uh, set it to the second one. Let's do follower. There we go. There it is. Okay. Um, there's a lot of other options over here. It's like, and maybe I'll go over this in another video. I don't want to take too long, but there's a lot of additional options over here. You can have it decide which way it falls, how long it takes to fall. So I dock this down to one. Um, Preview. You can always click on preview to see us. Now it's falling faster. I don't know why you'd want to do this, but just to show, like, that's going to take longer to fall over. Build the suspense up. I don't know. Um, advanced. This is if you want it just to automatically go after five seconds, you can have that be an option as well. So um, I don't go crazy with these. It is nice, um, but it's it's fun. It's fun, but don't. I don't go anything too crazy. But anyway, your slideshow. Uh, last thing, animations, okay? What this does is allows us to um, control different pictures on the on the screen. Okay, so I got this picture of this pizza, but I don't want the pizza to come in right away. I want the pizza to come in later. Uh, so I'm going to go click on my pizza and then go to animations, and I want it to fly in the next time I click. So when I start off my slideshow, um, no pizza, and then I click again, then the pizza flies in. Okay, um, there's a couple different levels of animations. There's there's come in, so it doesn't start there, then it flies in, or you can emphasize something, or you can have something start on your slideshow and then leave once you want. And there's you could. You could spend a long time controlling this. Um, so it is nice to add a little of animations, and you will need to do this for your assignments, but um, this is just kind of a nice little perk, and it keeps your audience engaged. I'm sure we've all sat through a boring lecture, and so this is just kind of a way to um, keep it fun. Definitely don't do it too much. Your audience will then be overwhelmed, and then be the opposite of bored will be overwhelmed, which is not good either. So do a few, but not too many. No, it's kind of a fun. So exits, you, let's click on my smiley face and I can do an exit. So I want this to shrink and turn away. So there, now it's going to leave and that's exiting. So uh, there's also this area over here where you can really control it super good. Um, that takes time and practice, but definitely option um, for anybody looking to um, and making it more advanced PowerPoints. Uh, yeah, that's it though, really, in, in conclusion. Transitions is just simply moving from one slideshow to the next a little bit cooler of a way. Um, animations is to give some emphasis or draw attention to something or to help. Again, it's all about teaching. It's all about helping you relay the information you have to your audience. That's what all of PowerPoint's tools are for. And if, if you're not doing that, then you're missing the mark. Um, make it simple, help your state audience stay engaged and get the message across that you're trying to give. Uh, there are other things you can do, recording, um, but I'm not gonna go into that today. This is how you start your slideshow from beginning um, and then you click through it to go through your slideshow. And that is a brief overview of the transitions and animations.